you know, I think he was just trying to force um, force the ball, force plays early in the game. He was making uncharacteristic uncharac- mistakes, and and that's a reflection of maybe your first start. Um, you know, everybody talks about the case of the yips that that you see amongst all sports, and it was just one of those to me. The start of a game, man. He was, uh, you know, easy throws that he usually makes. He was throwing a little bit low, and and we weren't helping him. That's the other part is that. You know, we have to help him as an offense, um, you know, make sure we're catching and ball might be a little bit low. We got to catch those balls. Some of the balls were uncatchable, but, you know, that was just something that we have to make sure we're helping him, um, you know, now getting a snap that's on him, you know. And so, listen, I I know Drew um, feels strongly about his performance and, and about how he starts a game. And I know he's working on it. Um, I don't think. Um, you'll see a repeat performance to start a game, you know, and, and we have the utmost confidence in him as part of being as one of 11th. Yeah. I think obviously the quarterback position, there's, um, a lot of value. It, it, it touches the ball every single play. Um, so in terms of you are one eleventh of the offense, but you, you, you truly impact the play because you touch the ball every single play. And, uh, I think what Drew has to do is just continue to feel like in his head, I'm just 111. I got to do my job. When you talk about 111, it's just about doing your job. And I think that's what Coach Reese is, is trying to convey to, to him and everybody is asking. It's about doing your job and whatever it is your job to do, you got to accomplish it. And so all 11 people have to do their job being a quarterback too, even though he touches the ball every play. Yeah, I hope after four weeks or four games, we're not tired. Um, I don't plan to rest them a lot. We gotta, we gotta get better. We gotta develop in that week, and we'll have a couple practices, three or four practices during that week to, to continue to, you know, we'll find ways to develop as individuals as football players, and then, so we'll utilize that. Um, again, it's not like it's after week six or towards the end of the year. We're talking about the first third of your season will be complete as we hit our bye week, and so. Um, you know, if the guys are banged up, obviously we, we got to be smart and try to get them to return to play. But the majority of guys will just it's the development time. It's practice time. It's ways to get better. And that's the only way you get better is out there in practice. And so um, we'll do that during the week. Coaches uh, will be recruiting early in the week and later in the week. Um, we got to use this as time to go out and and see, uh, you know, some of our guys and, uh, you know, evaluate some prospects. And so we, we got to get a lot of that week. We're going to be busy. Uh, We'll be busy as a football program here with our current team and then also out recruiting.